Lockwoods from Intelligent Concrete. I'm the Director of Research and Development and today we're going to talk to you about how contractors can protect their concrete slabs, whether they're driveways, curb and gutters, uh, any type of exterior pavement from attack from de-icing salts and de-icing brines. And the easiest way to tell uh, from cracking or spalling or flaking from de-icing salts and de-icing brine, first of all, if you're in an area where you have freezing and thawing, that's your first clue. And if folks use the icing salts and the icing brines, and even if you have a homeowner who states that I never put the icing salts and the icing brines on my driveway, um, you can still get the icing salt and brine attack from the salt and brines that are brought off from vehicles that ride on local arteries or state highways. So anytime your de icing salt and brine can get onto your driveway, whether it's dripping from the tires or dripping from the car, or any type of vehicle, even FedEx rain or UPS, or any type of delivery coming to the house, once that de-icing salt touches the driveway, it's gonna start attacking it. And just to give you a quick science tip, it, um, what it does is um, it's attacking the, the chlorides in the uh, de-icing salt and brine are attacking the calcium silicate hydrate structure or the glue that holds concrete together. And what it's doing, it's changing that, that hydrated cement matrix or that binding matrix into a weaker version and a more voluminous version of itself. So, you know, if we see our concrete surface and our salts migrate uh, through the surface and start hitting the aggregate, um, they're going to start attacking either that interfacial zone between the aggregate and the cement body, um, or they're going to hit the cement body, start calling, causing that, that weakness or that voluminous growth, and it's basically going to pop the surface off. And, Normally it starts in little spalls or little pop-outs and then it'll start flaking off the entire surface. And that's the way that we can see either in these little like pock marks on the surface or these large surfaces where your aggregate is showing. And at a certain point, once that, uh, those salts and brine start migrating deeper into the body of the concrete, it actually can cause your concrete to fall apart. So uh, even if your homeowner um, doesn't want you to rehabilitate to the surface, at the very least, you need to uh, seal the surface every season to stop that uh, attack from getting more and more aggressive and destroying the concrete from within. So finishing aids are one of the most convenient methods for contractors to increase the durability of their concrete slab surface to this attack from de-icing salts. Now, bear in mind that using finishing aids is limited to when the concrete is still in that liquid or fresh state and that's what we're going to be covering covering today how to use a finishing aid for de-icing salt attack resistance finishing aid is going to fit into your normal flat work operations after screeding but before finishing the concrete you're going to spray your topical finishing aid onto the surface of your concrete once doing that, we're going to use our steel trowel, our mag float, our bull float to work that finishing aid into the surface. Now, bear in mind, if we don't work that finishing aid into the surface, we can cause cracking. So we want to make sure we really work that into the surface so that we can ultimately protect our concrete from de-icing attacks, salt, scaling, and flaking that you see in front of you to create that creamy and dreamy surface that lasts forever and get away from that de-icing salt attacked. When using finishing aids, we produce a cream at the surface that's going to last and feel different from that with blessing with water. Ultimately, with using a finish aid, you can create the same type of finish, whether it's a broom finish, a Fresno finish, or a steel troweled finish. So now that you've seen those different techniques and you understand the different directions you can go in taking care of that failure at the surface, please recognize that this is a failure at the surface. Spalling and flaking does not mean that your concrete driveway is structurally compromised. It's just really ugly. And if you have a driveway that's stamped or a driveway that's colored, uh, it's going to show even more and your homeowner is going to be even or the owner is going to be even more upset about it and want it repaired or rehabilitated. Um, but that being said, all the technologies and all the concepts that we showed throughout this video are actually uh, in the comments section. So if you want to buy some of the products that are in there, go right ahead. And when it comes down to it, whether you use the products that we have in our comments section or whether you use a, a competitive, these are some of the clients that 
that we represent, we really don't care. Uh, what we care is that you at least use the new and emerging technology. And as it stands, the products that are in there, uh, there are a few companies that make those products. And if you ever have any questions, either about this video, the products that we use, or other products out there that are similar to the products that we talked about, please don't hesitate to throw those questions in our comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ask questions, sh uh, share with us your concerns, or even uh, photos of concrete uh, failures, and we'll definitely help you out because we are the concrete experts. Have a nice day. Go concrete. Beat asphalt.